I received a phone call from Jack and Ginger. Um, I didn't have a phone. Right, well, I, well, it was a phone call from the studio saying, we've written this song and we need a lyric for it. Would you like to come down and have a go? They, you see, they both worked with me as, as uh, backing my poetry and music uh, situation, you know. Jack actually did some, one or two gigs with me later, but also Ginger worked with me before. Did you with you? Yeah, you did a couple of jazz and poetry gigs oh, with I me. I see, right. On, yeah. on string bass. Remember at the Genetic yeah, Cochrane sure. Theatre you did yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. But I think really you, you were working with, uh, you were trying to work with Ginger initially. We did, to start with Ginger played on that big concert we did in 61. No, I mean like to do it, you know, with, with Cream songs. Well, Ginger knew me right better. Right at the beginning, yeah. you, you started to work. Yeah. But it didn't, you didn't, it didn't kind of hit, hit it off. It didn't hit it off, no. I mean, that's right. And, and, um, and he, So I got you, you know, because you, got you didn't the, hit it off. The really. backlash, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was, came out of the so-called beat generation, you know, and I was into, came out of Kerouac and Ginsburg and all those people. Um, but at the same time, the music that I liked probably had more influence on me than they did, you know, like blues things, Robert Johnson, T-Bone Walker, all sorts of people like that. The, the lyrics of those things probably had a lot more influence on me than other poetry. The process of writing uh, was very much for the music first and then Pete and myself working, mm. hammering out the images so that, that you, know, he's, he's very, uh, you know, he's very kind of prolific. I felt that what I was writing was, I've always felt this, I mean in the best things that we wrote, I felt that I was just translating the music into words. I felt that it was there already. He would have uh, half a dozen ideas at a minute and I would sort of say, no, no, I don't like that one. I can't, you know, just from the point of view of, of singing, you know, things, some things sing better than others. And uh, I mean, I didn't care what it meant, I mean, really. As long as it felt it good. felt good. One funny story is, is, uh, is the sunshine of your love story, really, because uh, we were sitting there in, in Bracknell Gardens and we, we, it was like five o'clock in the morning. We'd been writing all the time for, eight, for hours and hours and hours and hours and we were really getting fed up with each other as well. And then suddenly Jack, in desperation, grabbed his double bass. I still remember, this is actually true, I mean, he actually did this. He grabbed his old double bass, you know, and said, what about this? and play this riff. And I went, looked out the window and it's getting light, you know, so I said, it's getting near dawn. <laughs>